Today was the scholarship luncheon. It was our fifth annual luncheon, and it really was a nice gathering of donors and scholarship recipients that allowed them to get to know one another better. And it's really a nice event because the students and the donors have an opportunity to create a relationship with one another. Are we having a scholarship banquet luncheon for um, scholarship recipients and the donors that's given the scholarships to the, uh, the students that attend KCC? I show their gratitude and appreciation towards the donors at this lunch and today. Here is a celebration of a lot of people that would not have had a chance to go to school meeting the people that made it possible, their dream possible for them. Well, it's very exciting to actually get to meet, the, be the recipient and get to meet our donors face to face. I think before they did this, we weren't able to do that. And so it's kind of nice and we can actually keep in touch. Uh, scholarships impacted my life substantially, making my life less stressful and building my self-esteem as a student. Today they got to see two students give their testimonials about their personal stories and how the scholarships affected their lives and how it will enable them to gain an education. It was like a whole list of scholarships and you apply, you fill out the application, write an essay and you choose which one. Uh, it's like more than like 50 plus scholarships and you choose which one that suits you. Well each scholarship has its own unique criteria but overall we're looking for a student that can write a good essay about their experience they're required to write thank you letters in order to receive the scholarships and have the scholarships applied to their student accounts. And from there, the students know that they're going to be awarded the scholarship and they use this money towards their education to pay for tuition, books, and fees. There's rarely a day that goes by that I'm not asked by someone how school is going. She is the recipient of the Patricia J. Martin Scholarship and she wouldn't have been able to go to school to be a nurse um, to finish actually without the scholarship. I got married and had uh, four children, two of which were sick, um, very chronically sick, um, and so there's no way that we would have been able to afford for me to come back to college without help from somebody else. So that's partly why it's so emotional to me, so that I can help that my kids get onto college later and pay back to the community. His name is Joseph uh, Baptist, and um, I, I got a letter from him um, when he received the scholarship, sitting next to him makes me feel really, really like everything is worthwhile. Well, it's a great experience showing your gratitude and your appreciation for uh, somebody that you don't even know, you know. They just read your uh, application and decided that, you know, that my story impacted them to, you know, help me out. I went, I went to a community college and so did my wife, starting off our uh, college education and uh, it made all the difference in my life. Uh, I had good instruction, I had motivation, I saw what people could do with themselves. You can start here, move on, you can do one of the health programs, you can do a vocational program, but I know a lot of students that have started here and gone to the U of I, gone to private schools, you can, you can go anywhere once you go to KCC. It offers students the opportunity to experience higher education locally and the experience is extraordinary. They have so much to offer in terms of various curriculums as far as class size that it isn't so large that it's not manageable. Students can create relationships. And there's awesome student experiences. We've got great student life. Well, I think people complain about what's wrong and what's going on in that room right now. That's what's right. And it's not like it's, we're not talking major dollars like some of the big universities. Um, we're talking um, relatively small dollars to make such a difference in people's lives and in our community too. It's important because it helps so many people. There are so many people that will not be able to go to college and not be able to support themselves or their families or in turn help the rest of the community if people do not step up and help the foundation to get more of those people like myself able to go and help and go to college. Well, in the economy we have today, you know, people don't have too much money to spend on university, big universities, or as some uh, community colleges. Some people are probably at home now and wondering, like, how can I get education? And then people that's, you know, willing to donate and willing to give to those, they should give to those that really need help. But it's not just giving you money, it's making you work for your education also. It's not just a handout and say, here, you know, you actually have to put forth a little bit of effort and you have to be the type of student that wants to do good and wants to help in your community. I've been coming since year one and it's getting bigger and bigger 
Um, that means more and more people are stepping up and giving scholarships and I would just um, encourage everybody, whether it's $500 or, or whatever, um, it does make a difference. Yeah, I'm just so thankful that they have the Scholarship Foundation. The luncheon, it's great that we get to meet our donors, but the foundation and the way that it's helped me and how it's helped on down the line, the trickling effect of the people that I've come in contact to, it's helped.